We have approximately four years. The CEO of Rigetti Computing recently stated that quantum advantage is about four years away. This means that quantum computing would be stable, cheaper, and extremely reliable. This is referred to as quantum dominance. When fault-tolerant quantum computers start to solve real commercial problems in drug discovery, material science, and financial modeling, that would take classical computers thousands of years to crack. I happen to have worked in tech, and that's why I tend to talk about them in my videos. Now. In laying down the size of the prize, experts are projecting quantum computing will become a $1 trillion sector within 10 years, with roughly $110 billion going to direct vendors like the ones that I'm going to speak about in today's video. First, the infrastructure layer. These are companies building the platforms, the cloud systems, and the middleware that quantum computing runs on, profiting whether the quantum arrives in 4 years or 14. Second, the pure play builders, the companies that are betting everything on quantum hardware they're high risk, they're high reward, and this is where that $110 billion creates the biggest stock price leverage. Third, the penny dreamers. These are sub $10 stocks with billion dollar ambitions, where a single breakthrough could 10x our money, or where a person could simply lose it all. So mapping it all out, here's how I would invest that $100 in quantum today. So I'd put 70% into the infrastructure, 25% into the pure play builders, and maybe 5% into those penny stocks. 